Hello and welcome to the Flowmate mains boost pump installation and introduction video. Flowmate pumps offer a simple solution to boost mains water pressure without the need for a cold water brake tank and they are designed to be connected directly to the incoming mains. Flowmate is RAS approved and operates within the current UK water regulations. At times when there is insufficient mains water pressure Flowmate will add an additional 1.5 bar of pressure to the existing mains pressure at a maximum flow rate of 12 litres per minute. This will meet the requirements of most combination boilers, electric mixers and other domestic outlets. The tap in the clip shows a minimum legal pressure of 0.7 bar and without Flowmate. As you can see, when a Flowmate is installed, this pressure is dramatically increased. Now onto the installation of the Flowmate pump. Here we have a typical installation where the pump would be located under the sink by the rising main of the house. For clarity of the installation process, I have removed the waste pipe under the sink in order to get a better view. The first step of the installation process is to turn off the rising main to the house. This then allows you to drain any excess water from the system. Now the system is drained, the old pipework can be undone, cut and removed ready for the new pump. After the pipework has been cut, the pump can be fitted with suitable inlet and outlet fittings. In this case, two 15mm compression to 3 quarter inch female BSP brass fittings. Next we must fit full bore isolating valves to the inlet and outlet of the pump. These allow easy maintenance to be carried out if required. However in this installation, due to the close proximity of the pump to the rising main and the stopcock which effectively acts as an isolating valve, I am not fitting one to the inlet of the pump. Now we can locate the pump and install the inlet pipework. A verifiable double check valve and 3 bar pressure regulator must be fitted between the main supply stopcock and the pump as shown. Once the inlet pipework has been installed, it's time to install the outlet pipework. This consists of a pressure relief valve set to 6.5 bar, including a drain and a tun dish to ensure no siphoning occurs. This pipework then fits back into your existing system. Once the pipework is in place, ensure all soldered joints have been completed and all compression fittings have been sufficiently tightened. Now the pipework is complete, we can connect the pump to the electrical supply. For ease of installation, the pump is provided with a factory fitted supply cord. This must be permanently connected to the fixed wiring of the main supply. A suitable method of connection would be via a double pole switched fuse connection unit like I have here. Now that the pump is completely installed, the waste pipe for the sink can be reattached and commissioning can start. To commission the pump, open the main stopcock and the nearest available outlet. This will allow the pump to fill and vent. When the water runs freely, switch on the power to the pump. The pump should start instantaneously and switch off again when the outlet is closed. Now open and close all outlets in turn associated with the pump, allowing liquid to flow from each outlet until all the air is purged. As each outlet is opened and closed, the pump will start and stop respectively. Any tap or control valve within the system when opened and closed will now turn the pump on and off. Check the system for leaks. If clear, the system is now operating correctly. Now you will have sufficient pressure to run combi boilers, electric mixers and other domestic outlets.